Having individuals who have an understanding, even if it's just a very basic understanding, is far better than somebody who has no information or no understanding at all. Coppers Cove High School students completed a certified emergency response training recently. Eight students were selected out of nearly 3,000 in the district. 25 News reporter Leah McNeil has more tonight. A life-threatening situation can happen in the blink of an eye, but knowing how to react can save lives. There's a lot of things that happen that are out of our control and it causes a lot of chaos and I feel like it was necessary to know how to be able to respond in that situation. Elise Fusilay is ready to be a first first responder. With everything that happens in schools today, I want to be a teacher. Fusilay and seven of her classmates are now certified members of the Community Emergency Response Team. Leading is definitely one of the things that was very important and so learning how to do a tourniquet was very necessary. And how to conduct grid searches, wildfire prevention, and basic natural disaster response are all tools Fusilay has in her back pocket. In a small community or large community, time is critical. So, you know, anything they can do to help first responders before we get on scene is, is beneficial. A lot of times people do not get involved because they don't know what to do. So they stand, they watch, and they don't do. Just even a small amount of training helps people get involved and be able to make a positive impact. Each student armed with an official CERT backpack. Tape, band-aids that's on the side. Everything that they were taught, they went out and implemented and put it into action. Just extra gauze and batteries for the flashlight. Ready and willing to help. They're there to assist the firemen, the policemen, anybody in an emergency situation. So they can use this in every day. Any, anywhere where an emergency happened, these students will be prepared. Anyway, they can. Reporting in Copperas Cove, Leah McNeil, 25 News.